What's up everyone? This is Rafael Lovato Jr. Um, here at my academy in Oklahoma City. It's New Year's Eve. Uh, I want to wish you all a happy new year and uh, I want to send out a big thanks to all my Facebook fans who helped uh, me reach 2,000 fans um, just last night. And as I promised, I was going to give you guys some techniques to work on um, for the new year and uh, I have a, a match that has uh, some of these moves that I'm going to show you guys in action so you can watch. Um, but uh, basically what I thought I want to work on today with you guys is some guard passing. Okay, We're going to look at a, a couple different techniques and see how we can put them together and uh, really put a lot of pressure on the person's guard. Okay, So the first one, I'm going to work my way inside to getting some deep positioning on his hips and, uh, and look for what I like to call a butt flop pass. Okay. So, you know, a lot of times we approach the guard, I'm able to get one of my legs in between his legs. Now, when I put this leg in between, I like to go really far, right next to his belt. So I have a lot of pressure on the inside of his thigh with my shin, okay? So this kind of compresses his hip, makes it hard for him to move, all right? Then I want to neutralize this other leg. So I can go to the ankle or the leg, but basically I want to stuff this foot and start to come inside sitting on top of his ankle and starting to get some inside pressure on his guard. And I'm very close and I'm kind of sitting in a chair so I'm heavy on his, uh, his foot that's in, in between my legs. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to control the inside of his knee with my right hand here. Okay. And from here, I'm going to look for my, my uh, timing, my opening to lean forward and reach for his head. Okay and I'm gonna kind of kick out, and it's almost gonna look like I'm sweeping myself, all right? Uh, you're gonna kind of flop over to the side and pass the guard all in one motion, okay? So I'm controlling here, I'm gonna lean forward, reach for his head, and then I'm gonna kick out and fall to the side just like this, okay? And you'll see how I make a line with my shoulder and my elbow and my wrist, okay? They're all together. I'm not too low, I'm not too high. I'm perfectly across here where I can have good shoulder pressure on his jaw as soon as I land, okay? And from here, I can just push his leg out and work my way to side control. Now, if he kind of got on his side and brought his knee in, I could always switch to the other leg and extend this leg out of the way and go to side control. Okay, so let's do it again. So once again, I work inside. You see how deep my foot is right next to his belt, so I have good pressure on the inside of his leg. I'm working to control this ankle and start to get inside just like this. You see how low I'm sitting here, all right? Now, I'm gonna look for the inside grip on his knee. And here, maybe he might have a grip on my collar or something like this. I can break off and immediately look to go, okay? So I lean forward, go to the head, and kick out just like this, okay? Look how my shoulder is right on his jaw, all right? Just uh, uh, so I have good cross face pressure. And this is very strong because usually you pass and then you look for the control of the head. But in this pass, I'm getting control of the head before I'm even past the guard. So I have a very good chance of being able to finish this position with my cross face. Just push his knee out. If he did get his other knee in, I can switch to this leg, extend it down, and go to side control. Okay. Now, I want to show you guys a different pass because uh, you're going to see how these two passes can work together, especially in the match that you're going to see that I had um, uh, with some, some examples of this stuff. Uh, the match is from the 2010 Brazileiro in the Absolute Division. Um, but uh, basically, let me go ahead and show you this pass, and I'm going to show you how they both work together. Okay? 
So now we're going to look at a butterfly guard position here, okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to work going around his leg and getting control of the pant leg on the far, far leg, okay? Getting control of the pants here on the far leg just like this, okay? Now, as much as he wants to, to, to try to stop it, it's going to be very difficult for him to keep me from smashing his knees over to the side, okay? I'm going to show you guys how to do this. So when I'm here, first thing I want to do is use my weight, all right? So I'm going to get on my toes and start to uh, bring a little bit of weight onto his hooks and his legs here, okay? Kind of compressing his, his legs together. Yeah. And from, as I do that, I'm going to go ahead and start to look for uh, a collar grip on my right hand, okay? Um, to, uh, to get like the cross face, okay? Now from here, I'm going to use my shoulder, my hips, to start to churn just like this and bring his knees to the outside, okay? And as I do that, I'm going to create a 45 degree angle right here across his legs over his shoulders. So he's getting smashed down this way and smashed down this way, the opposite direction, okay? And at the same time, I'm staying very heavy with my shoulder on his hip, all right? And if, if I can, I'll go ahead and slide this in even deeper, okay? Now, there's a lot of things I can transition to from here, uh, but one of the really nice things about this position is my ability to pass straight to mount, okay? Which, in my, in my opinion, passing straight to mount is one of the most beautiful things you can do in jiu-jitsu. Uh, it shows complete dominance, and uh, it's, it's very, very technical, and uh, you know, I'm just a huge fan of that. You know, my, one of my masters, Shanji Hibero, is incredible at this, as well as a lot of the greats, Haja Gracie, and so on and so forth. So this is something that we want to strive for in our guard passing, all right? And I have this option right here, okay? So I'm keeping control. I have good, uh, nice grip on his, on his collar, so I have more pressure on his head. And what I'm going to look for is my right knee being able to come inside his armpit, okay? Once I can get under this elbow, everything is going to be free for me to start to transition to mount, all right? All I'm going to do now is I can start to let go of his, uh, his pant leg at the bottom here, and I don't want to step. I'm going to slide real slow and kind of just let, let the position unravel, okay? So I'm here. I'm going to start to slide my other leg over, and you see how I bring my big toes in right away for the mount position, okay? I, it's very important I, I turn my toes in because if I stay like this, he might be able to hook and scoop my foot for a half guard, okay? So as I'm going in, make sure those big toes are turned to the inside, all right? So let's look at that one again. So we're in a butterfly, I wrap around, I get the grip on the bottom pant leg, I start to bring my weight forward, look for the collar, okay? From here, I'm gonna twist my hip, walk to the side a little bit, and use my shoulder, okay, to cross his knees over. From here, I'm gonna settle into my 45 degree angle, where I have pressure on his chest and shoulder in the forward direction, okay? From here, I'm gonna get my arm even deeper, so I have good shoulder pressure, and I'm gonna start to circle my knee under his elbow and his armpit. From here, I can let go, look for an underhook, and start to let everything slide over right into the mount position. From here, I can start to look for my finish, okay? Now, real fast, because I did a combination of these two uh, passes for, uh, in my match, so I'm going to show you guys how we can work both of these together um, in, in combination, okay? So in my match, you'll see me first go for what I call the butt flop pass, okay? And I always like to use references uh, for techniques so you can see people do this at the highest level. And uh, uh, the two that I think were the greatest at this style of passing was Jacare and Tedede, okay? Very good at jumping for that head um, cross face control and kind of flopping out of the guard, okay? So I was able to start off with a flop pass, but in the course of this, he was, uh, the, my opponent was able to shrimp out. And anytime I miss this angle here, I always like to come back to this sort of positioning, okay? So I stepped back over his legs, 
all right? And I was working um, what I like to call this as the side smash, okay? And he was able to square up with me a little bit and put it, me back into a butterfly in the course of the match where I already was able to gain control of this grip, okay? Then from here, immediately, I went right into this, the, uh, this forcing of his knees over to the side and then gain control of his head, get my knee in, and slide right over into the mount position where I was able to finish the match, okay? So one more time, these moves in combination. In fact, I did it on this side. Had control, lean, flopped out, he started to shrimp. I came back, pinned his legs, I, I wasn't able to keep him here. He squared up into a butterfly, but I already had this grip, and I immediately transitioned back to the side smash position. Got a little tighter, knee in, and then I was able to float into the mount position and get the finish. So very, very strong passing. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the technique. Um, they worked very well together or independently of each other. Um, very dynamic, strong, pressure guard passing, and always strive to be able to pass straight to mount. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. So, uh, anyways, thank you to all my Facebook fans. If you're not a fan yet, please go to LovatoJuniorFans.com. That's L-O-V-A-T-O-J-R-Fans.com. And follow me on Twitter at LovatoJuniorBJJ. Thanks a lot, guys. Thank you.